How's it going guys? Brett Medlock here. Today I wanted to make a video about the newest Nintendo Direct leak. That's right, you heard that correctly. Coming from 4chan, of course, of all places. Now this leak has been going around like everywhere because it's so ridiculous. But, you know, I figured, why not? Why not go through this list and see what exactly could happen? And I don't know, maybe there could be a Direct in November. I, I doubt it, but I don't know. You never know. Nintendo's really weird. First off, it says the Direct is on November 6th, which is only a week away. Actually, a week from today. So... That would be really exciting. I feel like it's been quite a while since we've gotten a new Direct. I just, I don't know. I think something small would be really fun. Right before the holidays, maybe they can try and boost up them Pokemon sales, the Luigi's Mansion sales. I'm sure they'll mention it even though it'll be out by then. But all right, let's just go ahead and start at the top. Terry for Smash Brothers will release the day of the Direct. Honestly, if there was a Direct, that seems like something that would happen. That's not too crazy out there, in my opinion. I'd be really excited if this was real, but I'd be more excited to figure out what the next Smash player is, which is the next thing on the list. Now, apparently, Doom Slayer is going to be the next Smash character. The announcement of Doom Slayer is going to somehow connect to a Kid Icarus trailer of some sort. The exact wording of this is Doom Slayer is CP5, releases in January, trailer is tied into Kid Icarus, Eternal, and Original Outfit alts. I don't really know what to make of that. If they did announce Doom Slayer as the next Smash character, Character, I highly doubt that they would tie it to Kid Icarus. I mean, I get it. He's from heaven. Doom Slayer's from hell. They kind of already did that with Bayonetta whenever she was announced for Smash Brothers on Wii U with Kid Icarus. I mean, she, she, she slays angels. That's what she does. So it'd be perfect. Now, Doom Slayer somehow tied to Kid Icarus. I just don't think that would happen. But anyway, speaking of Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus Uprising 2 apparently is going to be announced for Nintendo Switch and coming in 2020. Now, once again, this isn't too out there in my opinion. I could picture Kid Icarus returning. I think that the original Uprising did well on 3DS. Hell, I bought it and I wasn't even a Kid Icarus fan before that and I thought it was pretty fun, but I just did not like the controls at all. But anyway, Kid Icarus Uprising 2, that's not too far out there in my opinion. So maybe, maybe if there is a direct that some of this could come from it, but as you'll see, this list just gets even more ridiculous. So let's just keep on going down. New Breath of the Wild 2 trailer and it's going to release holiday 2020. I don't see that happening, sadly. I mean, Zelda is known for having these incredibly long development cycles, and Nintendo did say that they were going to work on that a while back. I think it was in between Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, and it still ended up taking a long time after multiple delays. So I don't see Zelda coming out next year, but once again, you never know, because it seems like they're going to be reusing a lot of assets from Breath of the Wild. I assume it's going to look and play very similar, and if I had to guess, I think that the next Zelda is basically going to be exactly like Breath of the Wild, but with temples included, like traditional Zelda games. Because I feel like that was the biggest criticism, and I'm and I'm sure Nintendo heard that. They're probably going to have traditional dungeons in the next Breath of the Wild, along with the big open world stuff that Breath of the Wild did that everyone also loved. So we're about halfway down the list, and things don't seem that out there. But let's just keep on going, okay? Minecraft 2 teaser trailer. Not gonna happen. Minecraft is a property owned by Microsoft. If they were going to announce Minecraft 2, they wouldn't do it at a Nintendo-specific event. They're direct. That's just not gonna happen at all. And Minecraft, the whole point of it is that it's a platform. I don't see them making a Minecraft 2 because they've already built up Minecraft as this ongoing thing. They're not just going to change that out of nowhere. I feel like whatever Microsoft is doing with Minecraft is working because it's still wildly popular after all these years. No point to make a Minecraft 2 and it's definitely not going to get announced during a Nintendo Direct out of all things. So yeah, that one is pretty ridiculous. Now the next one, Xenoblade Definitive Edition, releases June 2020. That doesn't sound too far off, you know, I could picture that actually happening. And I'm really excited for that game. But let's just go on to the next one. New Animal Crossing trailer. That's all it says. There's no details. I mean, this could be easily guessed. So I think we probably will see an Animal Crossing trailer in the next Direct. Will the next Direct be on November 6th? Probably not. Now the next part of this leak, and, I, and I'm pretty much joking when I say that because let's be honest, none of this is probably going to happen, but it's fun to imagine. It says that Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 are going to be announced for the Switch Pro. That's right. They're going to announce those games 
for the Switch Pro before they even announce a Switch Pro. Now, of course, if this did happen, if Nintendo did have a Switch Pro that they were going to announce for some reason right before Christmas, where they're going to be selling a lot of Switch lights and a lot of original Switches, so I don't know why they would possibly announce a console right now. That would really hurt their holiday sales. But if they did one day announce a Switch Pro, I think it would be smart to announce games like this right beside it. I can just picture it. Here's the Switch Pro. Here's these two big graphically demanding games that are going to be on it. You're going to be able to take them portably wherever you want. I imagine the Switch Pro is going to be a bit bigger than the original Switch. It's going to have to be packing a lot more power to get these games playing on it. And I picture the power of the Switch Pro being some somewhere around the original PS4 and Xbox One. Which by all means, play Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk on them. The original PS4 and Xbox One are still wildly popular, so developers are still going to be making games for them for a long time. So if Nintendo somehow could get their next handheld platform or hybrid console, you know what I mean, the Switch Pro, if they could get it as powerful as those base platforms, that would be huge. And I think it'd be really smart for Nintendo because then lots more ports, which I know a lot of people hate ports, but a lot more ports could come to the Switch and they would be looking pretty fantastic if the Switch Pro ended up being that powerful. Anyway, we still haven't gotten to the most bizarre thing on this list that completely just ruins this list for whoever wrote it. Like, there's no way they can be taken serious with one of these last ones. But anyway, before that, a Super Mario 3D World port. I can picture that happening. It's one of the few Wii U games that hasn't been ported to Switch, and I would really like to see that. You know, I, I actually really like that game. I was playing it with my wife a few months ago, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I want more people to play it, and whenever games get ported to Switch, a lot more people play them than when they came out on Wii U. But anyway, the next one, the biggest, dumbest thing on this list is Grand Theft Auto 6 announced as a Switch exclusive, no release date. What the hell? Why? How did this list even blow up? I don't, I don't understand because there's a lot of these fake lists all over Reddit and 4chan and nobody really takes them serious. So I find it really weird that this one blew up and then, like, and then everyone started talking about it and started making videos on it. And I figured, you know, what the hell? I'll make a video on this thing. Why not? But this is the craziest, weirdest thing on this list. Grand Theft Auto 6 is probably not going to come to Switch. It's pr definitely not going to be a Switch exclusive. But, as always, I will say, if it would have said Grand Theft Auto V announced for Switch on this list, that sounds a lot better. I mean, we know the Switch can run Grand Theft Auto V. It, it was on Xbox 360. It's completely capable of running that game. But Grand Theft Auto 6 as a Switch exclusive has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But there's still one more, which I would love for this to happen. And apparently this Nintendo Direct on November 6th is going to end with Super Mario Galaxy 3 announced for summer 2020 and that would be really awesome and i doubt it's gonna happen i feel like we got our super mario galaxy fix unless they change something drastically like i don't know being able to control the camera because that was like one thing about those games that a lot of people didn't like that it was all basically fixed cameras as you walked around but you know it worked because there were planets they were round you pretty much had to see everything and having a third person view in that game wouldn't have actually made any sense like how it made sense in the bigger open worlds of mario odyssey but anyway, guys, that's everything on this list. I'll just show a picture of it right now so you can just take a peek at how crazy this is and why it blew up. I have no idea. It's very strange. But I just want to know your thoughts on everything. If there is anything on this list that you think would actually happen, let me know down in the comments section below. Because when glancing at it, I could picture a Xenoblade coming out June 2020. Um, I could picture a Switch Pro happening, but they definitely wouldn't announce it uh, next month. That doesn't make any sense at all. Super Mario 3D World, probably going to happen one day. Super Mario Galaxy, very unlikely, but I, I, I wouldn't put it past Nintendo because they know those games are already like tugging at people's nostalgia. I mean, they came out a while back. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, time flies, but that's just the way it is. Anyway, other than that, Doom Slayer and Smash, I think it could happen, in my opinion. Like, it doesn't seem that out there. We've gotten M-rated characters in Smash before, so I don't see why Doom Slayer wouldn't work. And that's pretty much it on this list. I don't really see anything else that could actually happen, in my opinion. But let me know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this more relaxed video style, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, that thumbs down if you didn't, that subscribe and notifications bell if you really like this video, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.